What's going on, traders? John with Tactical Trading here with our uh, another edition of uh, OTC Saturday. Uh, we got a lot to talk about in this. Um, we've been having some rough markets, rough trading over the past few days. Um, I mean, it's it's just a few days. Uh, our market has uh, shown a lot of uh, resiliency to bounce back, um, especially through this whole election infection back in March. Uh, we've had a V-shaped recovery. Um, looks like um, we're a little overvalued in the stock market, so I would be very careful. Uh, any trade that you get into, know your risk point. Let's use an example. You get in a trade, uh, one of these OTC stocks at 50 cents and your risk is 45 cents. You look at uh, getting out at 60 cents on a two to one profit uh, or, you know profit ratio once that thing gets down to 45 cents you're gone you're gone not 43 not 40 you're gone at 45 you get out of that trade and if and if you find another entry point below that then you get back in and you know redo the trade and get back in but you always get out don't let these things turn against you um, and when you get your profits, don't be greedy. Um, you know, if, if you're looking to, to, to get out at, so let's say, the same scenario at 60 cents, and this thing breaks through, it's at 62, 63, and it's running up, the minute you see that thing pull back a tad, you're out. Now, I'm not, for, I'm not against letting your, you know, your winners run a bit. Um, and if they look strong and you look at the level two and a lot of bidders are still coming in, yeah, I would stay in the trade for a little more. But once it shows a tad of weakness, you get out. You take your profits, bag them, and walk home with that bag because these things can turn against you very quickly. Let's use uh, Galaxy Next Generation GAXY as an example on Friday. Let's just, uh, I mean, look at this thing. This thing dropped from uh, two and a half cents to a penny in less than a minute. That could it literally, if you if you were in there with forty percent of your portfolio, that could have done damage if you would have panic sold and got out, because that's what a lot of people did, and that's what constituted this drop. People panicked. They saw it open up weak. People started selling. They saw that thing start sinking, and people were panic selling. Now that made good for a lot of buyers, a lot of people that were waiting on the bottom to catch this thing, because people caught it at a cent, and this thing closed at three cent. They you know they more than tripled their money. They got in at a penny. They got out at three cents. So, regardless, this market is very, very, very volatile, very risky, um, and we are trading the riskiest stocks in the market. We are trading these OTC stocks, and we're trading low-priced NASDAQ stocks. Uh, these penny stocks are very volatile. Um, one good thing about uh, tr you know, tur you know, turbulence in the market, um, a lot of people then leave the higher-priced stocks and come to penny stock land, and that leaves us with more. It does leave us with more volatility, but it leaves us also with more opportunity. Uh, we really didn't see that on Thursday or Friday. It looked like the market was very slow. Um, the gainers were a lot less than they typically are. I've uh, seen a lot more losers than you typically do, um, but there was still opportunity to be found there. Um, you know, we have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of geopolitical um, things going on that, you know, China's threatening to dump a bunch of dollars on the market. Um, we keep on printing. We, as I say, we. The Federal Reserve keeps on printing money. You know, Federal Reserve is about as federal as Federal Express. They keep on uh, dumping money onto the system. And what's happening is you're getting a lot of people getting, the interest rates are zero, people are getting a lot of free money, and I'm saying institutions, are getting a lot of free money and they're dumping that back in the stock market. Um, this is causing a bubble. And do I think the bubble's about to burst? Not yet. I really don't. I think they're going to hold this up for a while. But eventually it's going to burst. And that's why last week I said it's probably very important to start looking into alternative investments such as Bitcoin, um, which is not my favorite. Uh, I prefer silver and gold, tangible, in a safe, actual product, not paper, not futures. I'm talking about the tangible product itself. Um, so anyways, enough with that. Uh, we got a lot to talk about in this OTC Saturday because I'm going over a bunch of stocks. Um, not really recommendations, but but my idea of what to look at over the next week or so. Um, obviously, we had uh, Optech International on uh, Friday with their news that they had their patent pending on their... Um, on their uh, temperature scanner uh, for the cell phones. Uh, I looked into it. They already have the patent pending on the uh, UV LED lighting in the phones. That has already been granted. That was back in July. I did a lot of research on that. They're not waiting for anything. They're waiting for the patent office to put the stamp on it. Um, they already have that. I mean, they, they could put it in their product patent pending. So um, now that they have this, they have the full gamut to use cell phones 
as a PPE product. Um, they're going to have their first prototype out, I would think, in the next month or so. Maybe, uh, uh, I would think, probably end of September, early October. They're going to have the first prototypes out with the, with these on their at the actual cell phone and tablets. And then we'll see from there. Um, I don't know how investors are going to take a look, you know, look at this. They're probably going to look at it positively. But I don't know how um, consumers are going to look at it. Um, you know, as I call this the election infection, is it if the other guy wins in November, this thing goes away? You got to think about that too. So um, with Optech, this is a beautiful trade up until the um, up until the election, but I'd be very careful with it up until then. Um, right now, we uh, closed at uh, 0 0.04495. We were up 23% on Friday. Uh, I think this would have been up a lot more if... Um, Obviously, if uh, this thing, the news came out before the open and more people had caught into it, but being that it came out at 1 p.m. Central, which is 2 p.m. Eastern time, we only had two hours left in the market, the trading day, for investors to catch on. And a lot of investors are already tied up in other trades. Yeah, they have their, their scanners and everything, you know, moving. But the fact is, if you're if you're caught in another trade or, or you're working a few other trades or you're tied up in other things, you may miss that. And what I like about this thing happening on Friday is the fact that there is not now three days with the holiday weekend for people to mull through this information to see this news on this PR and I'm, like I said me knowing Optech International I do know that these guys are probably chopping at the bit to put out some more PR um, they, they they're very uh, they're very meticulous as far as constantly putting out PR uh, they even dropped a PR earlier in the day Friday that I completely missed explaining about the uh, investors uh, in fact that was a uh, careborn capital out of Minnesota um, these guys took a large stake and uh, they put it on a, a SC 13 G on September 1st the actual investment took place on August 31st and these shares are tied up for one year so they can't just come and dump shares on the market so those shares are out of the rotation for a full year um, the patent, uh, all the other patent that they had on the UV LED lighting for the cell phones was July 13th. Um, the uh, patent office granted them a patent pending for the UVC LED lighting in use in cell phones and tablets. On September 4th, they received the same for the infrared scanners in cell phones and tablets. So uh, basically, you know, effectively making cell phones PPE products. Um, and like I said, the news was dropped at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So this news was not circulated around the stock market. And with an OTC land, a lot of times news takes a day or two sometimes to kind of circulate through. It could take hours, but very, very, very rarely is the minute news dropped, the minute the, the stock has a reaction. There's usually a, a little bit of a delay in the OTC markets. Um, as we all know, um, not many astute you know, multi-million, multi-billionaire traders are trading. You know, you don't have hedge funds, investment funds. You don't have, you know, your ARK investments and all these other, you know, big companies trading your Warren Buffett. You don't have these guys trading OTC stocks. Very, very, uh, you know, rarely do you ever have a billionaire investor, which it does happen, come into these markets and buy up a company. And if it does, usually that's one of the catalysts that lets has a stock to have a multi-day, multi-week run. So, um, again, I do like Optech International. I do believe we gap up on Tuesday. Um, remember, we're off on Monday. I think we gap up on Tuesday and run. I think this thing remains strong for a few days. This thing has been dumped on. We're down from 19 cents. We had an absolute short attack, which dropped this thing from about 16 cents to 9 cents in about 15 minutes on a certain day. Um, I mean, this thing was absolutely attacked and actually pushed down. I think there's still a, a, a sentiment with this stock where people are afraid to jump in it. But if this thing gets momentum and shown it can run, I think we have a, we've hit a pivot. I think we hit a turning point in the market uh, for Optech International. So I really like this stock going forward. I know I went in on this uh, quite some time. Um, another stock I want to talk about is Northwest Biotherapeutics. I mentioned this stock back in July. Um, these guys actually went all the way up to $0.79. Cents. Um, when I mentioned this stock, it was only $0.34. Cents. Um, they had announced uh, all the data, the date for the data collection phase 3 trials for their brain tumor uh, drug, 
DC Vax uh, was ready. They had announced that, and it did exactly as I said, because I said anticipate results within a few weeks. We should see a run in anticipation of the results and may push this stock through its 52-week 52, uh, 52 highs for a breakout. And the 52-week high was 41 or 0.419. Uh, this thing it did exactly that. It, there was no anticipatory run. This thing, it, it, it the news came. They had decent results. And this thing blew past and, and doubled, if not more. This thing, like I said, went all the way up to 79 cents and then or 78 cents, and is now pulled back to 64 cents. It was still up 16 point, uh, 16 percent, about 16 and a half percent on Friday, uh, but this thing is up from under 40 cents uh, on just Wednesday alone. And like I said, the high was 79 or 0.7969 was the high. So. Um, like I said, I talked about these guys in July. Um, I was not in this for this run. I completely missed it, and it's a shame because this is a stock that I've had on my watch list and I've been watching for quite some time. But, you know, those are the breaks sometimes. You're in other things, and you miss it. And then I saw the big run. I thought maybe, you know, I'm not going to start chasing this thing. And I thought that if, you know, if, you know 51, 52 cents, I'm thinking, man, I missed that. The, you know, this thing's running without me. And this thing ran all the way up to 79 cents. Could have picked up 50% on that. So I would definitely keep my eye on NW. Um, I don't think this thing's done. I think we probably have a little pullback left in this thing. I wouldn't be buying it first thing Tuesday morning. I would definitely be looking at the price action. But if this thing gets strong momentum, a lot of volume, and some of those big green five-minute candles... Who knows? This thing can you know, test those highs again of $0.79. Cents. Who knows? Even push, you know, push through those. Well, they have decent news. You know, this is a, a, a cancer treatment. Uh, you know, they, they do uh, cancer therapies and cancer treatments. Uh, their uh, DC Vax has shown, uh, like I said, in the phase three trials, they had good results with that. I don't know if they've released the full phase three trial. This has been accepted. Uh, I didn't see any news on that. But like I said, I still like uh, NWBO. Keep your close eye on that one. So obviously the first two is Optech International, OPTI, and NWBO. Keep a close eye on both of those. Uh, we had another stock uh, that I mentioned, XE Group, AXXA. Uh, this stock more than doubled uh, from where I called it out to uh, 0 .0446. Uh, this is an earnings winner. Um, this thing has picked up steam from mid-August, and like I said, this stock is now pulled back now to 0 .0276. So it's pulled back almost two full cents, uh, about uh, 1.7 cents this thing's pulled back. Uh, with the way these earnings were, these were terrific earnings. Um, this is now pulled back almost to mid-candle on the uh, almost like if you look at a, the daily chart like a flag pattern this is pulled back to its to the middle of its breakout and um I think this thing could could definitely rebound so I would definitely uh, keep AXXA on my watch list um there's another uh, stock that I want to talk about is Victory Square Tech, uh, VSQTF. Um, this stock exploded uh, a couple weeks back. Um, this thing, they, they're a testing company, and um, they had record first half of 2020 results as far as earnings. Um, and this thing is pulled back from all the way up from 83 cents. Uh, it's right now at 0.4649, so just a shade below uh, 46 and a half cents. Um, what I'd be looking for in this company, because if you look at the daily chart, this thing is forming a perfect triangle pattern. Perfect. Um, just like RLFTF, forming a, another uh, testing company, which is forming an absolute perfect pattern on the charts. So uh, VSQTF, what I'd like to see in this one, I'd definitely like to see a lot more volume come in. I wouldn't touch this thing till this thing got up to about, you know, one and a half, two million uh, per day in volume. And you, you, I mean, if you see in the morning, obviously you're not going to see two million in volume, but you're going to be able to say, okay, well, it's nine o'clock. They have X amount of volume. You, you know, you basically divide that through or multiply that through the, the remainder of the day. You can, you can kind of estimate where the volume is going to end up, you know? So if if they have a lot higher volume than typical, um, VSQTF has shown it can run. So that's a stock I would definitely keep on my watch list. I am definitely not buying that thing on Tuesday. Most likely, I may not be buying that thing next week unless news comes out. But you got to keep your eye on this. You got to keep this on your watch list. What you want to do is take these stocks, put them on a watch list, and then sort the watch list from highest percent gainers down. Um, this way, you can look at the watch list four or five times a day, see if anything's starting to run. You know, you see something that was flat, and then you see it up, you know three four cents whoa wait a minute here or 20 30 percent wait what's going on you can click on the stock look at if there any news has come out and then this way you can keep up with these stocks and see if anything's running you don't miss anything throughout the day so uh, another one i'd like i said i'd keep on my watch list is vsqtf um 
another stock which has been grinding higher but has an ugly chart, um, just ugly price action. But the news is absolutely astounding, is Totos Medical. I know I've talked about these guys before. They closed at 0.1283, so a shade under 13 cents on Friday. Uh, this, the, um, Let's see, the August sales on this company were up over 100% from July alone. So that's huge. Um, these guys partnered with Panega for uh, election infection testing and cont uh, contact tracing. So they're also involved in the contact tracing, not only the, the, the election infection testing. Um, these guys had uh, 35460000 in contracts since August 21st. Let me repeat that. They have 35 million. 460,000 in contracts since August 21st with a 25.9 million market cap. Let that sink in for a second. This company has a $25.9 million market cap and they've had over 35 and a half or about 35 and a half million in sales in just the last two weeks. Why this stock is not moving is beyond me. But like I said, this is, like I said, um, I mean, this only had two out of this last 13 days were green. Although on the chart it still is grinding upward because it's popping up and then pulling back, popping up and then pulling back, popping up and then pulling back repeatedly over the last two weeks. So this thing on the chart is showing an ascend. This thing is ascending northbound. I mean, this thing is going, you know, is grinding upwards, but it has only, uh, what does it have, 13 out of the last 15 days are red candles. Um, like I said, it's a very odd stock, um, but, but TOMDF... Uh, like I said, uh, it's, it has a 25.9 million market cap and has 35.46 million in sales and uh, new contracts, brand new contracts in just the last two weeks. Uh, so, you know, I would definitely have TOMDF, uh, or, uh, yeah, TOMDF on my watch list. Um, I think this stock's bound to break out. I love this play. I am not in it right now, um, but any type of action if this thing can break 15 16 cents i'm probably going to be very interested and the fact that it's had trouble breaking through 18 um almost historically throughout the whole year um i would definitely I mean if you get a, if you get it at 15 and get out at 18 you're still doing pretty good you know what i mean you're still doing pretty good but um if this thing can break 18 cents who knows what this thing can go this thing can jump 30 40 50 cents who knows and you know the way i look at this stock if it's, all, if it's only priced at 13 cents now with a 25.9 million market cap this thing realistically has got to be worth at least 12, 30 cents 25 30 cents you know, uh, just the numbers alone state that. And I think it's worth even more than that. And I think we're going to continue to see contracts getting signed and, you know, new news being put out. So uh, TOMDF is one of my top stock uh, stocks on my watch list. Uh, that's Totos Medical. Um, right, now let's go to ALYI. Let's go to the EV sector. I got three in the EV sector that I want to um, talk about here. And mind you, we're all OTC land here because there is some OTC, uh, some non-OTC EV stocks that I really like. But uh, sticking with the OTC sector, <clears throat> there's really only two that I'm really looking at as far as the vehicles, and then one that I'm looking for as, as far as accessories. And it was kind of weird. Um, yesterday, uh, me and my wife were out and the kids, and um, there was an electric vehicle at the gas station, kaput, had nothing left, no juice, couldn't go nowhere, had no charging stations, nothing. So they were actually having to call a tow to get this thing out of there. So they were asking for change and this and that because they couldn't afford the tow. Felt bad for them. Um, so this is exactly why a company like WorkSport, which I'll be talking about next, is going to come into you know come into handy with these electric vehicles. But first, let's talk about alternate systems. A L Y I. Uh, this stock closed at. Uh, Two cents, a shade over two cents, point zero two one seven. Um, this thing's down from a high, you know, a highs of a point zero five seven nine. Um, I think, I mean, I played this thing absolutely perfect. I don't think I could have played this thing any better. I got in under two cents at about what was it, one point eight, one point seven cents, and got out at uh, five and a half cents. And gave the video, called up, called it. Let's get out of here at five and a half. Let's take our bag and go home. This thing hit five seven nine and then just collapsed. So this is one of the very few stocks that I'm very proud that I played this thing absolutely perfectly. Um, but I still like this stock. I still uh, think this th this stock has a lot of potential. I think it's very very undervalued at around two cents i mean i think that i could see the stock at a quarter um i could see the stock at 30 40 cents even um 
you know, they, they have a, a, a share of the market that nobody else right now is really pushing for. And if you look at to where they're at the, in Africa and the Middle East, um, these electric motorcycles are going to be all over the place. The, the main... Uh, the, the main way these guys get around through ride sharing, food delivery, um, and also just transport to work and everything is on motorcycles. Um, I mean, it's, it's, the numbers can be astronomical for this company. And uh, on Friday, September 11th, uh, the company's design team uh, with more than 200 patentable claims will present ALY's next generation of EV innovation. So what they're going to be doing is putting out an example of what they're, because they're, they're actually prototyping their, their uh, electric motorcycle off of BMW. W and their motorcycle, and um, they're gonna they're gonna have more designs. They're gonna show some you know future uh, future events what they're doing. They've gotten into now making these hemp batteries, um, and who knows more you know what they're gonna do. You know we we don't know if they can get a deal with Uber, Lyft, or some other company that comes into the market and goes in Africa by itself or the Middle East by itself or just in that sector of the world and and. They do ride sharing and everything like that, and ALY is their main, the main focus of who they're going to do business with. We don't know, um, so I would definitely keep ALY on my watch list. I love ALY um, at uh, at uh, you know just a shade over two cents. I think they're an absolute steal. Um, they're still very easy to trade right now. I mean, I think I've made four or five trades on them over just the past few days. Very easy trades, um, where it's just very predictable. Um, you know, just before I got into OPTI, just on Friday, I was in ALYI and got in a shade under two cents and got out almost at two and a half cents. And I picked up about two, 2.4 cents. So I picked up less than a half a penny. But, you know, depending on your share size, you can make a good buck on that. You know, uh, four tenths of a penny, you, you can you could make a couple hundred, three, four, five, six hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks on that if you got the right share size. Um so I would definitely, ALY is something I'm always going to be looking at, and I'm going to have this on my watch list. Um, and what I'm doing now is just naming stocks that I want you to put on your watch list, keep an eye on, put them in a list, put them on your, you know, you, all, all these... Um, all these platforms have watch lists on them that you can put your own watch list together. Put it on your watch list. Put them, sort them by uh, either percent gainers uh, or um, or price gainers. However you however you feel more comfortable. I prefer percent gainers, but either way works. And and, and just keep on checking these things. Check them every half hour. Just click on there, take a peek at it. You know, if you start to see something running, and if it's been running for a half hour, you didn't miss the whole move. So you know you can get in, make a few bucks, and get out. So it's very important that you do that. Uh, you can't just be you know, checking scanners and, and going through your notebooks and things like that. It's not going to work. You need to have something where it's sorting these things by gains, and uh, this way you don't miss anything. So, um, again, DSGT, uh, this is one, this, uh, this is at point zero three six five five. We all know this DSG Global went all the way up to twenty seven cents just last week. Um, this thing can move. We know it's a lower float OTC stock. Uh, we know they're getting into the. Uh, they do electric golf carts, but we know they're getting into the electric vehicle space. Um, we will see. You know what? You know if they come out with any news as far as what types of vehicles are coming out with, how soon they're going to be coming out with these vehicles. You know when they're going to be filling their showroom or actually be functional and operational to sell these uh, electric vehicles but I think any news can send these guys soaring too so uh, I would definitely keep DSGT check these guys on a daily basis and keep an eye on if they they pop any news because we know they can fly so really the two um, the two OTC electric vehicle plays in my opinion are ALYI and DSGT now another play that I really like in the OTC market on this electric vehicle play is WorkSport WKSP. They closed Friday at 33 cents and um, they will announce uh, who they have a contract with because we all know they have a $70 million contract with an American truck maker. Um, I believe it's Rivian. Um, I've been talking to some people. I believe it's Rivian. Um, now Rivian also has ties with uh, has ties with Amazon, so this could lead into a lot of accessory sales and things like this. But this is like the story I told just the uh, just yesterday when we were at the gas station. This electric vehicle ran out. Now imagine you're in a pickup and you're run, you have an electric vehicle and there's nowhere to charge this thing right now, and you're running out of steam in here. Your 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 electricity's running low. Well, these guys have. Um, 
bed covers and they're solar powered bed covers which will recharge the vehicle now they're not going to give the vehicle a full charge but they're going to keep you operational and keep you going till you can get to that next charging station and i think that um being that it, i don't know if it's rivian but i believe it could be rivian if rivian picks these guys up and they, they start putting these as a 70 million dollar deal and start putting these guys on their uh you know putting these guys product on all their electric vehicles the terravis is what the product is called this company can skyrocket. Um, I think the high uh, I saw was 48 cents. It looks like 58 cents or 52 week high, but I did not see that on any of the charts. So I don't know if this is maybe a, a you know match you know getting a price match before the market opened or something. But I saw if like 48, 49 cents was the high. But again, I could be wrong. I got to take a you know another look at that. I don't have the charts in front of me. But uh, you definitely want to watch WKSP. And now if there was uh, any stocks that I'd be doing any long term. On, in this uh, OTC market, WorkSport would be one of them. WKSP, Totals Medical, TOMDF, um, obviously Optech International, OPTI. And as far as long term with Optech, I'm looking towards the end of the year. I may change my mind come towards the end of the year. Or if these guys can't break out with any of this news, I may just say dump Optech and you know just forget about it. Um, they've been beat down pretty good, but I, obviously I still like the company. I like the direction they're going. I like the people that are involved with the company. Um, so I have confidence that they can they can rebound. Um, I definitely like ALYI as a more long-term play. Um, now, there's a few other ones that I want to mention here um, for possible you know plays that you want to keep an eye on. You, um, there's a stock TPTW, TBT, uh, TBT Global Tech. In fact, I just saw them the other night. Uh, I think it was uh, sometime last week. They aired on Fox 32 New Chicago, and they were talking about these quick labs, which tells me they're going to be getting a contract in Chicago. They have one in um, San Diego. They have them in Miami. Now I'm thinking probably some of these Walmarts up here in Chicagoland will probably be bringing these guys in, and that could lead to Atlanta. That could lead to you know Tulsa, Oklahoma. That can lead to, you know, this, that, and that, everything else. So I don't think TPTW, again, they closed at six cents on Friday. Um, very cheap for what I think they're worth. I really like this stock. So I would definitely put TPTW on your watch list. Now, again, all these stocks that I'm talking about, I'm not saying to buy any. The only one I would be looking to possibly buy right now for news would be Optech because they had the news on Friday and probably probably work sport I, I really like that company um, but TPTW I keep an eye on those guys to see if they can land any more of these Walmarts uh, to put their um, to put their product in uh, that's their quick labs is what it's called so if they can put their quick labs in Chicago we know that they're in three major markets that could expand and that could just snowball into a lot and they're in Walmart too so we know they have 6,500 stores nationwide as far as Sam's Club, Club and Walmart this could be big. This could be big. And at six cents, this could be a steal. I know they have a high float. Um, but a, a company like this, what they start doing is once they start getting this good news and they start seeing the stock get some traction, they start buying back some shares. They start taking shares off the market. A lot of times they'll do a reverse split, which could happen, which would lower the share count. But a lot of times these guys just buy back a ton of shares and keep take them off the market. So, um you know, just buy back a portion of their company. So that's to be, you know, obviously that's pure speculation on my behalf, but I, I do like TPTW. Um, now there's, I, I have a ton more stocks here I'd like to go over, but, I, you know, we're already going to get into a half hour, so I'll, go, I'll talk about them. I'm just going to uh, say the tickers and then, you know, just say keep them on your watch list and uh, I'll go over them maybe in another video uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, whether, you know, some other time. But uh, I definitely... Uh, you know, obviously, I like, uh, I've been talking about them a bunch. Is RVVTF, that's Revive Therapeutics. They closed at 20.20684.4, uh, so a shade over 20 cents. Um, they're going to have results of their phase three trial soon for bucilamine for the uh, election infection drug, the therapeutic that they have out. Um, being that the drug's been out for a while, I think that these guys could be one of the first to have real positive results. So you want to keep RVVTF on your watch list. Um, RLFTF, Re uh, Relief Therapeutics, closed at 59 cents on Friday. If you look at their uh, daily chart, they're forming a perfect triangle pattern on there. I mean, we're now we're just talking technicals. Uh, we're not talking fundamentals. They do have a good product. I like the company as it is. But if you want to look at it just from a simply a solely a technical basis, they're forming a 
perfect triangle on their chart, this thing could be uh, gearing up for a breakout. And this stock has shown uh, that it is volatile. This thing can run, and when it does run, it can run 10, 15, 20 cents, if not more. So um, the two uh, election infection stocks I'd be keeping an eye on are RVVTF and RLFTF. And, um, and, you know, Oh, you know what? There's two other stocks I want you to just take a look at. And I will talk about these stocks at another time. But uh, there's two. One's BASA, Bonsante Inc. These guys closed at $0.63 cents on Friday. They were up 58%. And another one is uh, Vermonti Group. Vermonti Group, V-M-N-T. Uh, these are two stocks, and they were up 100% on um on Friday. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a separate video and mention these two. I'm just mentioning them, put them on your watch list, do your due diligence on them. Uh, but that's BASA and VMNT. Put those on your watch list. Uh, these stocks could be, uh, I think they can uh, be, they might be on the, the verge of uh, starting to move and have one of those NWBO type moves where they have a, a you know a multi-day run and start picking up steam. So I would definitely keep my eyes on those, on those two. So uh, again, that's all I man this pen's heavy uh that's all i got for you today for otc saturday um as always please like please share please subscribe we're right there at the 600 mark so i want to thank everybody for subscribing i want to thank everybody for watching these videos it means a lot to me um you know i never expected this channel to get over 100 or two um but now we're up to 600 or we're right below 600 so just hit that subscribe button get me to 600 get me to 750 and then we can worry about a thousand some other time but let's get this channel to 750 subscribers if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below if there's any stocks you guys are looking at i love to see what you guys are looking at that I haven't mentioned, please put them in the comment section below. I will be sure to take a peek at those stocks, let you know. And a lot of times when, when a good stock, just like WorkSport, one of my subscribers put that, what do you think about it? I haven't, I didn't even look at it. Now looking at it, it's one of my favorite stocks. So, um, you know, if you have anything that you want me to look at, I'll take a look at it, put it in the comment section. We'll get to it. And, you know, hey, we're a family here, so we're all here to help each other out. You guys have a great day. And let's get that money, traders. Enjoy your holiday.